recently it feels like fighting games have gotten pretty popular. I don't know if that's just because I've recently entered the sphere, but uh, it feels like they're popping off recently. And uh, there's going to be a lot of new players getting into these games, and they're going to have all roughly the same questions. Uh, the reason I know that is because I had these questions. Some people just need to hear the different words, uh, and it kind of clicks a little bit better for them. So uh, we're going to be talking about character selection, which game you should even play, uh, and what controller type to use, because there's a couple of different options that some people might not be aware of. So first off, just talking about character selection, uh, this is kind of one that I had held myself up on a little bit when I first started. I wanted to make sure that I was playing a character that was either not too hard for me because I was just getting into the game, but also not so easy that it was kind of boring. Ultimately, and this might sound like a bit of a cop-out answer, I would recommend picking whatever character you feel most drawn to. Now, just to really reiterate, there was some characters in uh, the game that I was picking up that felt like they were gonna be, or based on what information I had about them, they were gonna be way too hard for a beginner. But when I was trying the beginner characters or whatever was recommended, I just didn't feel like I was getting myself to actually play the game that often. Uh, and I was kind of like, it felt like the progress that I was going to make uh, just really slowed down a ton. So um, not limiting yourself to a character just because they may be perceived as difficult uh, is something that I would definitely recommend. Um, hard characters are going to make it harder to be good early. But if you don't enjoy the game that you're playing because the character you like, you want to be playing a different character, I would recommend go playing the character you want to play. It's going to be the reason that you get on the game. It's going to be the reason that you try to get better at the game. And ultimately, this can also help you choose which game to play in the first place. If there is no character in whatever game you're considering that you even like, that game is probably not for you. If you look at all the characters in Guilty Gear Strive, you're like, man, I don't like any of this. I don't like the art style. I don't like the character design X, Y, Z. Let me look over at Street Fighter and you find one of the characters like, man, this is the best thing. Go, go play Street Fighter. Just because everybody is pointing at Guilty Gear Strive doesn't mean that you also need to do. Um, you're going to have just as much fun in one of the other games. Um, and that goes for Tekken, uh, a bunch of other games. I, I don't, I'm not going to bother listing out every single one uh, but i will say if you are having a hard time finding a character or there's a bunch of characters that you might want to play in each of the different games i would first check to see which games your friends might be playing you know if they're already playing a fighting game you're going to be even more likely to play that game because you have friends that are playing it and then you can have this friendly competition between your friend group and that's going to be the best case otherwise if you're like me and you just have no friends uh, that are actually playing fighting games we could have full stopped there before that, but that's not the point here. My friends really don't play the same games as me a lot of the time. So getting into fighting games for me was kind of a, just a personal adventure. So with that, I would highly recommend the game that you find you like the aesthetic of, or again, what character you like. If there's a character in that game you like and you feel drawn to that character, pick that game. Otherwise, if you're just completely unsure, I would recommend picking at least one of the new games that are out, um, whether it's Tekken, uh, Street Fighter, Guilty Gear Strive, whatever game has a fairly large community is just going to be more conducive to getting a, a good experience from the game. If you're playing one of the old games, it's probably most likely going to have just a bunch of the veterans that are still playing the game. Um, not to say you won't still have a good time, uh, so don't let that dissuade you from playing a specific game, but just to help guide you and give you an answer, I would recommend picking at least one of the big popular names if it is at Evo, it's probably doing pretty good. And for those who are unaware, Evo is like a big fighting game. Uh, I would say tournament, but it's kind of like a, like a whole convention based around fighting games. Uh, so I definitely recommend checking out Evo to see what kind of games are popular there and watching gameplay. Because again, if you don't like what the game looks like or plays like based on what you're seeing, you're probably not going to like that game. So uh, or and the inverse is also true. If you really like the aesthetic of the game and you really like how some of the characters look and feel and play uh, while other people are playing them, um, you're probably going to like that game. It's pretty simple uh, for that. But uh, the scary part is getting into a game and uh, seeing all, the, all these fancy controllers that are available to you, especially when you watch some of the pros playing. Uh, there's a bunch of options. There's the console controllers for Xbox and uh, PlayStation. Uh, there's a leverless controller like this uh, that this is the one that I use personally. Uh, and it's just a bunch of buttons, and that can be a little bit daunting for people who are just getting into the game. And then there's uh, the old school arcade sticks that a lot of players love, or they just feel nostalgic towards, so they just use that instead. I will say, uh, there is no wrong answer here. 
uh, play whatever you think looks the best. Uh, if something that you feel the most comfortable with. I would say uh, I would recommend against spending too much money just getting into the game, especially if you're not even sure if you're going to like fighting games. Uh, so my recommendation is typically pick whatever controller you have the easiest access to. So if you're already are using a console, just use whatever controller comes with the console. If you're playing on PC, I would recommend getting one of the console controllers as well, um, whether it's PlayStation or, or Xbox. I'd recommend either of those. Um, I prefer PlayStation controllers when I'm using controllers. Um, I like the D-pad better. It feels a little bit more comfortable for me, um, but that might not be the same for everyone. Uh, so play whatever is your preference. I would probably recommend steering away from the arcade sticks and leverless, unless you grew up with arcade stick. Um, you probably didn't grow up with leverless. They're fairly new relatively. Um, but if you've gotten your hands on a leverless, if you've gotten to, or if you have a friend that has a leverless, um, a friend of mine recently, he just tested out playing with a leverless, with my leverless, so he could tell whether he even liked it or not. Because um, it's a little bit um, strange at first to get to get used to. It's a, um, your brain doesn't quite click with it perfectly as much as you'd think it would from just watching people play with them. So I would recommend trying out or testing an arcade stick or level leverless controller and actually even just putting hours into a fighting game before picking up either of those two options if you just are like ah, i'll spend 50 bucks on this i'm already going to spend 50 bucks on a controller because i don't have one um and i really think that i like leverless and you're fairly sure you're going to like the the game uh then maybe that's an option there's a bunch of cheap cheap options that are available on amazon and there's a bunch of uh, YouTubers that do reviews on each of those controllers and give recommendations. Uh, I would definitely highly recommend checking out some of those videos uh, before just picking up an option. Otherwise, I would just pick up a console controller, pick up whatever your preference is between the, the two major options or whichever is cheaper. If you find one that's on sale, pick that option. You know, it, save yourself some money. Don't break the bank just trying to get into fighting games uh the other thing is that i didn't really touch on is that if you get a controller for a pc uh remember that the console controllers that you pick up a uh, playstation controller or xbox controller are usable for games other than just fighting games so you don't you're not locking yourself into uh spending that price point on a controller and then oh man i hate fighting games and then you can't ever use that controller again right so that's that's going to be more the case if you get a leverless or a arcade stick uh, so just something to keep in mind as PC players. But yeah, hopefully this answers some of the questions. Again, just uh, pick the character you feel the most drawn to. Ultimately, pick whatever is one of the newer games, if possible, if you're brand new to the game and have no friends kind of guiding your actions. And then again, controller, pick whatever is closest to you or most accessible to you. Uh, try out your friend's controllers. Uh, go to a local, you know, maybe they have some some of the fancy controllers that you can try out. Um, I would recommend doing something of that nature for sure. Also, there is something in my eye just had to be right now. Uh, so before I pry my eye out uh, because of this hair inside my my eyeball, um, I hope this video helped you. Um, if it did, feel free to leave a like down below. Let me know what other questions I can maybe help answer for uh, any new players or if there's any veterans to the FGC and you think that there's other valuable information that is worth sharing. Also, leave that as a comment down below and definitely subscribe to get some uh, future information about these types of games. Typically, I make just videos about MMOs and I have recently picked up fighting games and it's been an addiction of mine. So uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully I didn't waste your time and thank you for risking clicking on this video. Hopefully I actually provided some decent information for you. Thanks so much. Take care.